what I do is create worlds that don't necessarily exist and try to make them come true. That sounds a bit bonkers, but <laughs> essentially, this is what it is. I'm Peter Essany, and I work as a visual effects supervisor at Territory Studio. Got my hands on version one of X Particles, and when that happened, it was a real game changer. I'm Sam Munnings, senior motion designer here at Territory Studio. Territory is a company uh, that works across uh, various disciplines. We create visual effects and worlds for films like Pacific Around Rising or Ready Player One. And sometimes we create motion graphics for similar films, for example, Blade Runner. I spent 11 out of the 12 months in 2017 working on Ready Player One. Anybody? X Particles is great on a job like Ready Player One. We've got multiple artists working on multiple shots. We can save cash onto our network with the X Particles so we can share those and another artist can open it immediately. We came up with a few ideas. Some were physically based, some were more particle based and they loved the particle direction. All of this was done with X particles using various different noises and emission types. It's not always going in with a pencil and being, drawing it out. It's, well, what happens if we do this? What happens if we add this modifier? What if we create a question at this point? What happens? And I think that's a really exciting way to work. ask you some questions. Obviously, when we are asked to work with films like Blade Runner, that's, that's really, really, really exciting for us. There was a sequence called The Neighbor's Apartment, um, and a specific device that we had to create, which was a, um, an interesting piece of technology, which is somewhat like a scanner. And we used X-Particles to create something that's understandable as a scanning device, but also interesting and strange enough to fit into the world of Blade Runner. And X-Particles allowed us to go down that route, experiment with something that's realistic enough, but are directable enough to answer the brief. X-Particles helps us in two ways. It's always reliable. So from a production perspective, it always does what we ask the software to do. And from a creative perspective, it allows us to experiment. And we can combine these two very different things in a very easy and efficient way. If we've got an idea that's going to tell the story in the best way, we know how to create that using X particles. We can rely on X particles to take it from the very creative exploratory phase to the actual production phase without any problems. We've used X particles on Ghost in the Shell, Blade Runner 2049, Ready Player One, and we will continue every film that we get, I imagine. Mm -hmm.